right, so this is going to be my game room tour video for uh, this year. Um, before I get started, I just want to thank everybody who has uh, liked, subscribed, commented on my videos. Um, me and Stan, you know, we don't post, uh, you know, for likes or whatever. We just post because, you know, we like to share what we get from the flea market. So uh, let's get right into it. So my game room is in the basement. So we got a little hallway right here. You know, we walk down the stairs. Uh, I got a couple posters. This is the uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Um, this is a like, blue light. Then you shine a blue light on it. It shows you, like, cool stuff in the map. Came with the Clusters Edition. Here on the left, I have the, uh, this is just a basic Red Red Dim poster. Uh, Far Cry 4 poster came with the Clusters Edition. And as you walk down the stairs, I put this poster here because, you know, it's kind of cool. This is the, uh, the Last of Us uh, Part 2. It's got the GameStop dumpster. It's actually four pieces. Put them together, makes this giant one. So I put it there because, you know, when you walk down the stairs, kind of like looking at you. Oh, it's just kind of cool, especially when you walk down here during night. It's kind of just like, you know, sometimes it like scares you. Uh, Far Cry 4, uh, another map of the game. Got this from the Collector Edition as well. Bang it right right here, and this is the game room. Uh, so right here I have a little end table. This is where I keep all of my uh, extra games, extra cases, just uh, spare stuff I have. Keep this down here. Up here, then blue line flag. Got that the flea market, like 40 bucks. And this is where I keep all my games. So this is a little panoramic of the room. So, no, it's pretty big down here. So let's start on this on this wall right here. So this wall is basically where most of my games are. So right here, this is my uh, PlayStation stuff. So I got the uh, PlayStation 4, the Destiny one. Uh, PlayStation 1, playing the box. On top of that, PS1. Couple of games on next to the boxes, and these are my shelves for all my PlayStation games. So I got some PS4 games. Um, just a shout out what I'm playing right now. Seven Days to Die, really fun zombie uh, survival game. Playing that a lot lately. PS3, PS2, and then PSP. Everything's alphabetical order. I got this uh, cool CD shelf. This holds all my uh, you know CD based kind of games. All my PS1 games here, and then I got um, these unlabeled games are all my Sega Saturn games, Turbo Graphics game, and then I have a Dreamcast game right down there, Shenmue. All right, over here is where I keep most of my like you know DVD kind of case kind of games. So Xbox 360. Wii, GameCube, and over here, this is where I put my uh, Sega stuff. So I got some Sega Genesis, television, you know, my Atari stuff. I would like to have a shelf, you know, split each game, you know, each you know, kind of system, you know, Sony, Nintendo, Atari, but I don't have that kind of room down here, so I kind of got to jam it all in here. And then for the systems I have, this is the Halo uh, Special Edition, original Xbox, comes with the uh, controller too. Xbox 360. Uh, fun thing about this one, got this out of a GameStop dumpster like five or six years ago. Works perfectly fine. And then over here on the left, I have Atari 2600. This is also complete in box. Then I have this kind of, not really a knockoff because Coleco made it, but it's the Coleco Gemini. And I guess back in the day, companies were allowed to make systems that play other games. So imagine Xbox coming with a system or attachment that could play PS4 games or PlayStation games. Would never happen. Here I have my Odyssey 2. This actually stands. I uh, got this a couple months back. 45 or 50 bucks he paid for it. Um, literally brand new in the box. So the box itself has been opened, but like when you open it up, everything's so wrapped in original plastic. I bet has never been powered on. So I'm going to keep it that way. And then up here... Honestly, 200. Never played this thing before, but it's just cool to have in the collection. And this is the Atari 7800. Um, this was a complete box, but I have my uh, 7800 hooked up to the TV right now. This has everything else in it, all the instructions and stuff like that. And then this is the uh, power supply. Um, got the 7800 for 60 bucks, a uh, local game store in town. Thought that was a really good deal. So this corner over here is like my pre-80 stuff, all the old stuff. And over here is, you know, all the, like, you know, PS2, Wii, and stuff like that, all kept over here. All the all the stuff that goes in, like, you know, DVD-sized cases I keep on these shelves. 
And then over here I have the uh, people might probably hate me for this, but Rock Band. I think Rock Band is pretty fun. Uh, especially when you get the girlfriend playing, you know, all the friends coming over. You, know, you get a musician who sings, you know, plays the drums and bass and guitar. You know, it's pretty fun. For about an hour or so, then it gets kind of annoying, but definitely, uh, definitely get to play this thing once in a while. You probably whip it out once or twice a month, maybe. Or maybe like once or twice every three months, but it's pretty fun to have. And this little end table here, I have, this is my Clustered Editions little table. It's where I put my games I have that are not, you know, regular, like Steelbook stuff. So, for example, uh, got that all Special Edition, GTA 4, Xbox 360 version. Comes with a Steelbook. Um, steel case, sorry, not Steelbook. So that's why it's actually shaped like this. It's actually a metal case in here. Um, comes with, I don't what it comes with, but it comes with like a poster inside of there and a couple other cool things, but... I don't know how I don't know where I got that, but I, I have it. So, and then we have GTA San Andreas Special Edition. This comes with like a uh, soundtrack. Uh, PlayStation Three Classic Edition comes with a snapback, uh, steelbook case. Um, what does it come with? It comes with all like a uh, like a security bag, like like a lock bag. Seems like yesterday I, I camped out a GameStop for that, and like in high school, can't believe it's been like seven years, but that's really cool. Far Cry Four. Big, big Far Cry fan. Um, unfortunately, I didn't pick up the Far Cry 5. You know, the Father Edition. Um, I, by the time I remember it, it was already sold out. So, this is the Far Cry 4 Special Edition or Collector's Edition. Comes with those cool posters I showed you on the stairwell walking down. And this comes with this, uh, this cool little figurine here. And then down here, I have my Atari 400. I guess you can classify this as a computer. Um, I didn't grow up with computers like these. So, I have no idea how to work it. Uh, that's why I have this little Atari basic book with it. I guess it has codes or whatever to start things other run programs. I have no idea. It's just, it's just cool to have in the collection. And I do not know where I got that from either. And one of the coolest things in my game room, um, this neon sign. I just see it says game room. It's in the shape of a uh, of an arcade machine. Uh, my girlfriend got this for me for our anniversary a couple months ago. Uh, really, really cool. It's actually a pretty good size, and if you turn the lights off, like the whole room gets illuminated, so it's really, really bright. I have this uh, stupid street sign inside joke between me and my friends. Panda left over here. You know, got a little table, dining room table. You know, people down here have some food, pizza, whatever, and you know, just an extra space to have stuff. And this is where you know all the fun happens. We play all the games. So I have like twenty something consoles all hooked up at the same time. Um, all plugged in, you know, through power and AV and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of cords to manage, but we actually, you know, I get used to it, so it's not that hard. Um, then I also have a shelf up there that has some more systems too. So, I'll show you what I got. So, over here on the left, I have the uh, Sega Genesis Model 1, Sega CD Model 1, and 32X. Um, I have never seen another Sega, um... CD Model 1 in the wild before. I got this for a hundred bucks at a game store in the mall in town uh, like five, six years ago. Um, I don't have any games for it because um, they're kind of expensive and they all kind of suck. But you know, definitely cool. Uh, the, the startup sound for it is really, really cool. Uh, original Xbox. Uh, just a basic black one. Uh, I definitely recommend this controller here. This is the uh, Logitech controller. Um, I have one for the PlayStation 2 as well. Um, it's, it's just so much easier than having one of those long breakaway cables and cause the couch is kind of like eight, nine feet away from the TV. So having a wireless controller is, is a must for me. And that works well. Definitely pick that up. If you see one, got that at the flu market a few weeks ago, AB receiver for all the sound PlayStation four. This is the destiny one. Only thing different about it is this, it's just white compared to the black one. PS3 slim. Then I have uh, PS2 slim, the PS2 fat. And here's the PlayStation 2 Logitech controller I was talking about. Definitely got to pick up these Logitech controllers. Can't say enough about them. And I got a TurboGrafx-16. Atari Jaguar. Definitely want to get the CD attachments for both of these, but they're like so much money. But uh, having these is pretty cool. Uh, Atari Jaguar, my girlfriend got this for my birthday this year. Got it at a game store in Maine for 200 bucks, And... Look at prices online as the time of this recording, they're like 250 300 so that's a pretty good deal. You know, all the hookups and one controller. 
Tyree Jaguar Jr. I'm sorry, Tyree 2600 Jr. Because it's my last pickup video. Got it from a family friend. It's not hooked up. It's just there for show. Xbox 360. Um, me and my girlfriend play this all the time. She loves her Lego games. So right now we're playing uh, Lego Harry Potter. So we play that once or twice a week. And we have Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Super Nintendo. NES Top Loader. Definitely got to get the Top Loader. 100% better than the regular one. Um, you guys definitely know, you know, the Top Loader is a direct connection to the motherboard. So it works almost every time the first time. The other one, I don't know if it's just mine or it never worked. I had to try like 15, 20 times. But the time it actually worked, I was kind of like, oh, I'm all set playing games now. So definitely get the top loader. Got this for uh, $10 at my local flea market a couple months ago as well. I got a Wii U. This is the black one, obviously, 32 gigabyte. Got this at a uh, flea market in town. Plainfield Pike one, actually. 20 bucks. Uh, can't beat that deal. Uh, the lady uh, thought it was original Wii. Um, she was mistaken, obviously. Came with the system, uh, the touchpad, and the um, charging base for the touchpad. $20. This is the Platinum GameCube. Uh, it's not hooked up right now. Um, I kind of want to get the, the component cables. Um, they're like really expensive, but kind of like a audio video kind of nerd. I kind of like everything to sound and look really good. So unfortunately, that's not hooked up right now. If I want to play, I can hook it up using composite, but want to get those uh, component cables or the Carby. And you guys know what that is. It's like a uh, HDMI attachment or upscaler for the uh, GameCube. It's pretty cool. Nintendo 64, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, and Sega Master System. And up here, top of the TV, this is the uh, CHRK, it's like an uh, Atari 2600 clone in television. Another CHRK, Atari 2600 clone, Atari 7800, and the Atari 2600 Darth Vader version. And this is uh, this is something I would definitely recommend. This is called an OSSC. This is basically a line doubler, line tripler, four times, five times. It takes a 240p signal, doubles, triples, and all the way up to five times, and it makes the picture look amazing. I have SCART cable for my Super Nintendo hooked up to it, and I can't recommend it enough. OSSC is like $130, I think, and it took like six to eight weeks to ship. And I got the um, cables from Insurrection Industries. Uh, that's the United States-based company. Really good cables. They're like $24 for that. Um, definitely worth the money. Um, in the future, I plan on buying SCART cables for all the systems I can take it. But it's kind of expensive. And due to the pandemic, the shipping on that kind of stuff is, is really slow. So I'm going to wait until after the pandemic hopefully subsides and I'll get the rest of those cables. So like I said, everything here is all hooked up at the same time. Literally just press a couple buttons. Got some switch boxes there. Got a component switch box. AV switch box. Couple buttons and good to go. Over here on the right. A couple posters. You saw this poster. of Super Mario 3D World in my two flea market videos ago. Got it for $6. Got some glasses here. Mario, Peach, and Yoshi. Got this at a GameStop dumpster last night. Um, they threw it away because it's supposed to be a set of four with Luigi, but the Luigi glass was, unfortunately, was, was broken. So, got these three in pretty good shape. Uh, Nintendo Wii, complete in box. Uh, Nintendo DS Lite. I don't know where my system went. It was supposed to be in the box, and now it's not there. So, that's, unfortunately, just the box. Original DS. This is complete with the game. This is my original one from when I was a kid. DS carrying case. This basically holds all my loose DS games. Nintendo GameCube complete in box. Game Boy Advance complete in box. Nintendo NES system complete in box. NES cleaning kit. Carrying case for games. And the NES, NES Advantage. Over here I have my Bubble Bobble Part 2. I got that. And that was my first video I posted. I got that for free. It's like a $600 game. Super Game Boy. And a Super um, Game Boy Advance SP case. This holds the chargers. And this is like my handheld table. The Vetrex isn't handheld, but this is the best place for it. I got the Vetrex. I got this like eight, nine years ago. I got it for $100 at a local game store. Um, 
best pickup. This thing go for like three, four hundred dollars now, so definitely the coolest thing. I rarely ever play it because I don't want to break it. Um, I don't have any games for it except the one I came with, which is Mindstorm. And luckily, I have the overlay for it. And here are all my Game Boys. I got most of these Game Boys here and the handhelds at the flea market. I'm not really a big handheld kind of guy, but when they're really cheap, I, I can't pick them up. Uh, original Game Boy, another original Game Boy with the, uh, this is the yellow color, Game Boy Pocket. Game Boy Color, the blue one or teal, lime green, two SPs, red and silver. Unfortunately, not the fancy one with the nice backlit screen. Game Boy Advance, uh, like the pink one, and another DS uh, that I got the flea market a couple weeks ago. Uh, I like this one because I don't see all one out of the box all the time. Uh, whenever I play a DS game, I open the other DS box and just leave that beast. And I have two of them, one for in the box and one that I can actually play. These are all my uh, all my NES games, Super uh, Nintendo games, N64, basically all my Nintendo games all fit on here. I have like 118 NES games right now. Um, I only collect games I really want. Um, Super Nintendo games collection kind of lacking. N64 collection is definitely lacking, but I'm not going to pay eBay prices. So most of these games are found at the flea market, so $1 or $2 a piece. In this corner is all my Sega stuff. You probably realized already, but every corner has you no know, different companies. So Nintendo, Sony, a little Xbox, you know, old stuff like Atari. And this corner is my Sega stuff. So Sega Game Gear, I have three of them. None of them work. I can, I've never actually found one that works. All the capacitors die on them. I should probably fix it, but realistically, I am never going to play it. So it's just there for show. Sega Dreamcast uh, remote, complete in box. Sega Genesis complete in box model one. I have one over there, and but this one I found with a flea market, put it in there to make it all complete. And then Sega Genesis model two. Down here I have a little small little 13 inch TV. Got a yard sale, five bucks just so I can test systems out without unplugging a bunch of wires. My big one whenever I get a system. This is a Super Scope for Super Nintendo. Fortunately, I don't have the dongle that plugs into the Super Nintendo, so I can't even use it, but. This is really cool having the shelf. And uh, TV Plus 4, little Pong system. Never played it before. Uh, just cool look on the shelf. So the last little panoramic in the room. So that's that's basically it. This is uh, this is the game room. Um, you know, nothing impressive. I think I have like 695, 96 games. Almost 700 games. I use this app on my phone. Every time I get a game, I just log it in there. So if I'm at the flea market and I see a game... I'm like, do I have this game or not? I gotta get to see. Um, and I have about 48, like 48 game systems. So not the biggest collection on YouTube, but definitely something I'm proud of. Most of the stuff, like I say, came from the flea market um, or online or given to me for free. So everything has been real cheap. That that's kind of like my model when I go game hunting. You no, know, anything, anything eBay prices I don't touch. If I, because why am I gonna waste my time going to a flea market just to go around there and? Pay eBay prices. Hunting for the games is kind of like half the fun for me. Um, but like I said before, guys, I really appreciate everybody watching my videos, subscribing, liking, commenting. It means a lot to me. As of the recording right now, we have 37 subscribers, and that is 37 more people than I thought I would ever have. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and if you guys see anything in the collection you want me to get more in depth about, just leave a comment or or something. I'm probably going to do that by myself anyway. But one or two people comment and say, hey, I want to know about this. I'll definitely make that video first. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.